Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In my last video, I presented how to get the WordPress website up and running in 5 minutes with built-in domain from X10 hosting. I also presented how to get your SSL certificate with auto renew every 90 days. This was my last video. In this video, I'm gonna go into a little bit further. I'm gonna show you how to use your own domain. You can get it for free and how to integrate with X10 free hosting plan and enable SSL certificate. We are gonna use two different ways to do it. We're gonna use a eu.org domain name server point to X10 hosting or we can use Cloudflare to manage your domain record. Here is a basic diagram you can find from a blog post I presented in uh, this video and also URL you can find it from the video's description. Now let's start it. As mentioned, I have a blog post in my blog dot org. You will find the URL from this video's description. I listed all steps to show you how to get the WordPress website from X10 hosting, and I also showed you how you can integrate your own domain using two different ways with X10 free hosting plan. Basically. We will get a free domain from EU.org. If you haven't registered an account from EU.org, I would strongly suggest you to get one from there. You will have your own domain. So I already have my account created. I already got my the free domain secnet.eu.org for testing purpose. So which we we're gonna use it in our X10 hosting control plane here, we're gonna add a new domain. Now let's start with all those steps one by one. Of course, you need to have your own domain. Um, you can sign up from EU.org website here. I do have a video. You can find out the all steps, how to get your own EU.org free domain. For me, I already got secnet.eu.org list domain and also to integrate with X10 hosting free plan based on the services. So we're gonna have need to put the two record here. So this is the first method we're gonna use. We're gonna follow the suggestions from the website using the NS record in your domain nest gesture. So we put the NS1, NS2 here and submit. There's no error. We are pointing our own domain secnet.eu.org to X10 hosting's name servers. I already did this name server change a couple of days ago just to make sure my domain has pointing to right name server NS1 and NS2 dot x10 hosting dot com. So let's uh, add it in secnet dot eu dot org. So in a couple of seconds you should be able to see secnet dot eu dot org your own domain added here. So now we need to go to hosting control panel. You will find this hosting control panel is different from my last video because they are running on different server but actually the menus are similar so all features are still sitting under those menus so it's the uh, same on SSL certificate you will find here. For the plugins you will see the software apps installer is here we can install WordPress 
So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna change our domain to secnet.eu.org. That's our new domain. And we're gonna install WordPress on the that domain. Install now. So we can choose our secnet.eu.org. We don't need to put anything here since we're gonna use in our root domain as our WordPress website. I'm gonna put the site name as my secnet. So I'm gonna put the password here. So other than this, we don't have to change anything. We can choose a scene here. I'm gonna choose this scene. Select scene. Yes. That's everything you need to do. Then go down to install. So in probably less than 10 seconds, your WordPress website should be up and running. Uh, we can test the website, we can open link in a new link right away. You should be able to see this website up and running. But it's running on HTTP, it's not secure. Our purpose for this video is to use an SSL certificate to encrypt our traffic. So let's go back to our hosting panel. Right away, you see databases. It's two of two. I have two domains here. One is a free built-in domain from X10 Hosting. One is my own domain. I have two websites on the, those two domains. So I use the two databases and also two emails. One is a built-in domain's email. The second one is my own domain's email. So I have two email address being used. So now what we're gonna do is SSL certificate as we did before to generate automatic certificate is super easy from X10 hosting. And it's gonna be renewed every 90 days. You even don't need to worry about it. So everything gonna be automatically happening behind the scene. So you just need to choose get automated certificate from ACME provider. You can use that encrypt or zero SSL and choose your common name. Um, I'm using wildcard. So if you have any other subdomain on the, this new domain, you don't need to get any certificate. You still can use this certificate. Fourth, SSL with HTTPS redirect when you are once your visitor using HTTP to access it, it will automatically redirect to HTTPS. Save. Save. So that request gonna be run in the background. Once complete, we will get notification. So let's leave it to run and we will come back to check it once it's uh, ready. After two or three minutes waiting, um, you will get a uh, notification from your messages. So once you click in, you will see this let's encrypt request successful message here. Basically, they were telling you um, let's encrypt request successfully for your wildcard domain name. If you failed, so that's the one I did um, last year. It was failed for first initial request. Um, you will get the very detailed messages why it failed. It's basically it failed initial challenge. So if you look at the domain DNS management, while you are waiting, if you go in here, you will see this uh, ACME challenge record here txt record here that uh, automatically generated the DNS record for ACME to verify your domain ownership. But once they verified it, they will delete it automatically. That's 
all will be done by SSL certificate requesting process. Um, now you will see the new key, a new certificate has been generated, it was empty there. So since it's ready, we can test the website again. It was using HTTP, now let's refresh, it should automatically redirect to HTTPS. Right away, you can see connection is secure, certificate is valid, and it's for three months. So now we have got our website using our own domain up and running, and also we got our own SSL certificate. It will renew every 90 days. Next step, I'm going to show you a bit about another way to integrate your domain and enable SSL certificate. Basically, we're going to use in Cloudflare to do that. If you already have your own domain provider to manage your domain record, such as me, I'm using Cloudflare. So then you may want to use Cloudflare certificate. At the same time, you can take advantage of other free services provided by Cloudflare. So here is the diagram I'm creating to tell the difference from the first method. We are not pointing EU.org, our domain register, to extend hosting directly. We are going to point into Cloudflare first and let Cloudflare manage all your records, DNS records, and Cloudflare is going to tell my website is hosting at X10 hosting with those A records, FTP, mail records, TXT records, all those records. So you need to manage your Cloudflare record. How are we going to do that? Same, we need to have our own domain. I already have this bestit.u.org domain integrated with Cloudflare. You can find out my this video regarding how to integrate EU.org and the Cloudflare together. Basically, when you register your domain in your Cloudflare, they're going to ask you to point in those name server in your domain register to Cloudflare name servers. So that's exactly what we did here. So we put name server 1, name server 2, point to, to Cloudflare. Once you did that, all your DNS record will be managed from here. From X10 hosting control panel, this is the one I was using in the last video, but I already add bested.u.org in here. So what we're going to do is going to send steps. We're going to create a new website using Soft Acura's apps installer to install WordPress website on the bested.eu.org list domain. After you did that, you're going to go to SSL certificate. If you didn't enable SSL certificate, it should be empty here because we are not going to use certificates coming from ACME provider because it's we're not going to auto renewed since they cannot manage your DNS record. We are using Cloudflare to manage our DNS record, so we have to copy our certificate. We're going to generate our own certificate and copy in here. So we can go back to our Cloudflare SL slash TLS page. We're going to create our original server certificate. So I already have one. You can download it once you create a certificate. They should give you the key, original server key and the certificate. You just need to paste them in. And also, you will find the original certificate doesn't require you to do any auto renew because it's binding days 15 years. 
more than enough for your website to survive. And also, of course, you can create a new certificate and replace it once it's going to expire. So that's what you need to do, basically. Just uh, create your origin certificate from Cloudflare and the copy key and certificate into your control panel, X10 hosting control panel. Once you've done that, you also, of course, you also need to add a new A record layer. That's it. You don't need to put ACME dash challenge layer because we are not going to use auto renewed certificate generated by ACME. We are going to use Cloudflare original server certificate. So we can test it. Once all done, that's it. You are good to go in the control panel. We also enable the force SSL with HTTPS redirect. So you can see it's already HTTPS. So in the SSL TLS certificate, you will see this. There are two certificates here. One is original server certificate between Cloudflare and original server. One is browser and Cloudflare. So we already installed the original certificate in the original server. So Cloudflare in this part is secure. We are good between Cloudflare and original server since we have original server certificate installed. Between browser and uh, Cloudflare, when the user accessing the website bestit.eu.org, they actually go into Cloudflare as the middle. So we can tell that from this connection is secure certificate is valid so they are using Cloudflare certificate so you will see it's issued by Google actually Cloudflare using Google as a certificate issuer to generate your certificate for this part and it's three months certificate and it will auto renew by Cloudflare you will get a notification to say your certificate has been renewed transparently again the whole thing gonna take in care by Cloudflare once you put the key original server key and the original server certificate into this page all things will be taken care of by Cloudflare for a SL certificate for 15 years and you don't need to worry about it of course since we are using Cloudflare to manage our DNS record you probably need to migrate in those records into Cloudflare as well. If you want to get your FTP working, email working, then this is the migration you have to do. So that's pretty much everything I'm going to talk about today. So how you can use your own domain. There's two different ways to integrate your own domain with X10 hosting free plan and how to enable SSL certificate. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some useful information from this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. See you in my next video.